Hello, and in this video I'm just going to show you how you can set up your ES cap, and it might work for easy cap as well, I'm not really sure, so that it actually works, because there are a lot of issues with this. So to start off with, um, you probably want to get the stuff out of the box, mine just came in a little box like this, which annoyingly does not say anything about the product model number or anything, and you should have your actual um, device, like this, and four cables coming out of it, and then you should also have a disc. Now this disc is really, for me, it was just completely useless, so you may as well just throw that away. We're not going to need that, um, for this setup at least. So this is the thing that you're going to plug into your computer, so if you just pop the top off there, you'll see you just shove that in, and then we have all the little cable bits over here. Now this black one, you don't need to worry about, that's just, I'm not even sure what that's for, I think it's like S-Video or something, but we're not going to be using it. So all you need are these three. Now, there is something extra which you may need. I happen to have one of the cables lying around in the drawer, luckily, because I wasn't sure if, um, that I'd need it when I actually bought the product. But I've got a simple thing which gets all these cables, so that's the yellow, the red, and the white, and gets it into one of these things. I really don't know the technical names for any of these. But basically, in my logic, white, red, and yellow thing goes to this thing. And this thing fits in the back of my PS3. It should probably work for lots of other devices as well. So all we literally have to do is plug the yellow one into the yellow thing. And the same with the other ones. It's not particularly easy to do while holding this camera. If I'm talking about the camera, I'm sorry if I end up missing things or if the video is kind of wobbly. I usually use a tripod to record, but I thought I wouldn't while I was doing this. So let's just put that in. And remember, we don't need this one, so all we're going to do then is put this into your computer and put this into your console, whatever you want to record. And I'm going to show you now on the computer what you have to set up with the drivers and all that. Okay, so now that we've plugged everything into the computer, yeah, just open up Device Manager. If you don't know how to do that, just go to the Start menu and then type in Device Manager if you're on Vista or 7. Just open that up. And now this is where things can vary a little bit. So yours shouldn't look like mine does now. Yours should either have an other devices section, uh, and there'll be an unknown device, or maybe two unknown devices under there. And in the sound, video, and game controllers, uh, you probably have something that says USB EMP audio device, or maybe it's just going to say USB audio device. It really just depends. It's a bit of a kind of hit and miss thing depending on what system you're on. So, if you have one unknown device, we're going to need to install the driver for it, because that's likely to be our actual the video from our ESCAP. So just right click it and click update driver software. Now you have to browse your computer for driver software and you'd think that you just use this browse for driver software on your computer but in fact we have to pretend that it's on a disk so we could let me pick from a list of devices and wait for it to load What happened there? Okay, here it is. And then we click Have Disk. So if pretend we have the disk. Go to Browse. And you find this folder. Now, there should be a link to download this in the video description. Then you just extract it. And you'll see inside the folders there is this file. stk1160.inf And just select this. Hit OK. And then choose Next. Now, I'm not going to do that. You obviously then have to click yes and whatever else. But I'm not going to do that because I've already installed all my drivers. But once you do that, it should then install the thing for the video of our ESCAP. So just I'm just going to cancel that. You continue and install the driver. And remember, that's either going to come up as unknown device in other devices, or it can sometimes come up as USB and then like four numbers or something. So it really just depends, it's quite hit and miss, but choose the one you think is going to be the video for your ESCAP and install that driver. Now, I'm not sure which model number this driver is meant for, but it's worked on mine and it's worked on several others as well. So, you know, I hope it works for you. And also we have the audio as well, because we're going to want the audio to work. And if yours comes up as USB audio device, then you've already done it. If yours comes up as USB EMP audio device, then just go to update driver software and then we pick for them a list 
but this time we actually just choose USB audio device. And there you go, it should then install the driver just for the USB audio device. Okay, so now we have all the drivers and stuff installed, it should work. First of all, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn on my PS3 and quickly set the settings up to feed it to my ESCAP. So just bear with me a second. So if you don't know how to do it on the PS3, by the way, all you do is you go into your user, obviously. Then you go all the way over to settings, you go down to the display settings, video output, then AV multi slash SCART, and then choose the RGB, click change, and that should work out. So I'm just going to... Okay, so now we've got that set up going to the device. I'm just going to hit X because you usually have to do that if it's successful. And then what we're going to do is we're going to open our recording program. Now this is called AMCAP, the one I'm going to use. You can use a variety of programs. So I'm just going to open that up. Now, at the moment it's just said it's having a little issue, so I'm just going to secure all these connections because I'm pretty sure I haven't got my ESCAP plugged in properly. And now I'm just going to check the PS3, hit change, what have we got here, oh of course, so we want this one, and your video capture source should come up, so what we're going to do Occasionally it does this to me, I don't quite know why it does it. So we're just going to secure all the connections and everything. But yeah, it is a bit of a dodgy piece of hardware. Occasionally it'll work, occasionally it won't work. Okay, it's fine. That's also fine. MCAP is also a very dodgy piece of software, unfortunately. Okay, so it's now receiving the video OK. Just to mess around with the wires a little bit, I'm going to click change again because it's just decided to go off that. And as you can now see, it's now appeared in AMCAP. So I'm just going to put it on 4x3 because that's the res resolution I like to use. And on the audio settings, again, we're just going to want it to output via this SCART slash AV multi. So just choose that. Then I guess I'd better put in a game just to show you. So let's just open up something like this. Now also note, uh, at the moment I'm actually playing off this little AMCAP screen. What you also may want to do is instead of using my setup where I just have the cables going straight to my PC, you might want two of those, so one goes to your TV and one goes to your PC. So you can play on your TV while it's recording on your PC. But I just didn't have one of those cables around, so it was just a lot easier for me to set it up this way. And to capture, by the way, if you didn't know, just go to Capture and Start Capture. And then there are lots of little tweaks once you've got the video to improve the quality, compress the video, and other bits like that. And I might cover those in other videos. And here we have it, we're playing Little, Little Big Planet 2 and we're recording it via AMCAP and an ESCAP. So that's the end of this video. If you do have any problems, please comment on this video or PM me and I'll try and help you out because it is very difficult to set up and as you could see but there by my little kind of hitch and having to just check all the cables and everything, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It seems to be working for you know, quite a lot of it for me, so I think I'm rather lucky. So that's the end, have fun with it, and hopefully you'll be able to record your console, and it will be good, and we'll see more console-related videos. So that's the end, have a nice day.